No, she's got a fake about her neck and doesn't know. Another? Good night, then. You'll sleep well. The uh, whiskey and the sea are both smooth for a change. Hello. Just the end of the electric. The fuse box there. She said you we've had no time to check her wear in. Adex been complaining about the lights all night. We'll get her straightened right out. That is if I can find my screwdriver. Wager I forgot it below. Da now. Be right back. What are you doing in my cabin? You must leave immediately. You need to tend to your own affairs. Fortunately, you've left my valuables undisturbed. Really? I find it the height of drudgery to track you about this ship. Your constant meanderings make it difficult for me to attend my other charges. Miss Pringle insists that you see her immediately in her cabin. You two are thicker than thieves. And Larson is probably what you're up to. <clears throat> Do go see Miss Pringle. Quickly, there's not much time. Willie Hadelitz is dead, electrocuted in the Turkish bath. I heard one of the officers talking about it. This may not have been an accident. Apparently, someone wants that painting badly enough to kill for it. Do you have it? Someone must have taken the painting before you got there. Young Hadelitz, a Tsarist spy? It's beginning to become clear. A notebook. Zeitl's previous mission was aiding a band of Russian revolutionaries called Bolsheviks who want to overthrow the Tsar. The Germans would like nothing better than to see chaos in Russia. I'll bet that notebook's got names of Russian radicals. Such a list would be very important to the Okrana, the Russian secret police. With it, they'd root out the Bolshevik ringleaders and eliminate a threat to the Tsar. Which would certainly help the rest of us. Quite possibly. We need more information about the murder. If Hadelitz was murdered, you'll need protection. Here, this pen releases a single burst of knockout gas when opened. Find that notebook. It could be vitally important. Go investigate the situation at the Turkish bath. Move. What have you heard? Anything? Tell me. You knew him? Look. Don't breathe a word to anyone. Do? Bloody well nothing. Not till New York. The rest of the passengers must not be alarmed. Ismay is going to raise hell when he hears. And I thought this would be an easy trip. Be my guest. Mind you, it's not pretty. Now if you'll excuse me.
Can you feel it? The air has changed. It's clammy, cold, like the ice caves in the Eiger. But you're not here about climatology. What do you want? Certainly. Hmm. A passage from the Rubiot. Many knots unravel could mean a rope. Complete the rest of the verse and you'll find your answer. Good luck. Goodbye. I'll be here if you need me. Yes, can I help you? What can I do for you? Thank you. I shall return with your valuables in a moment. Your book. Though I had to move Mrs. Brown's Egyptian statues to get it, glad to be of service. Good night. Christ almighty wonder, you has a face ache, ain't you? Room in the ship, hooking your nose into everyone's business? Just who do you take me for now? One of those la -da millionaires up top? Jack Hacker keeps his word, honors his promises. When I saw you coming, I says to myself, they'll be wanting to know about him. The foreign gentleman, German I suspect, a remedy nervous type he was too. Give me a bob and told me to tell whoever asked to repeat a phrase word for word. You want to hear it now? But still the vine her ancient ruby yields, and still a garden by the water blows. Yeah, that's it. Here he wrote it down. What's it mean anyway? Some rich man's game you play. You can have it. Just tell Conklin we want the money tonight. What now? Another clue? Aha, the Rubiot again. But still the vine her ancient ruby yields. Hmm, what's red and old? Still a garden by the water blows. Still a garden by the water blows. We're, we're on the water, obviously. And a garden means plants. Where's there a profusion of greenery on board? Figure it out. Goodbye. I'll be here if you need me. Fancy meeting you again. Snooping about the decks again? What fun! Oh, Henry, snooping. Really, such dreadful taste. Reminds me of that chap Burns, that photographer who took pictures of the ship. You should look him up. He's on sea deck. He has such a lovely wife, too. I say it's late. Must run. Goodbye. Don't mind if I do. Smoke em if you got em, I always say. Gave a pack of these to the German kid early tonight. He's an odd one. While we was docked in Queenstown, I saw him on top of one of the smokestacks. The last one, right at the top. Who knows what he was up to? Looked like he was hiding something. Crazy crowd kid. <laughs> 